Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara or Lara Likes Mascara. I feel like my hair is kind of clashing with everything right now. I tried three different lip colors and none of them look good and it's also making my hair stick to my lips, but just go with it, okay? I am discovering how to work with a different color near my face with mixed results. But today's video is a project pan update. And it's actually a very exciting one because I do have some empties today, finally, at long last. Usually my project pan updates are very successful and every time I have a lot to announce, but last time I had no empties, which was like, that rarely happens today. I've got a couple. Usually I start out with the exciting things with the empties, but I think this time I'll just try to go in the order that I went last time and you know, you'll just see the empties as they come. It'll be a surprise. So <laughs> the first one I talked about last time, of course, was this Ever Mad Poreless Priming Perfector from Becca. Unfortunately, it's still sticking around. This is not one of the empties. I know, I know. By the end of the year, I'm getting rid of this, whether or not it's done for the time being, I'm still using it. Right now, I only use this on my forehead because that area, it gets the most shine, let's be frank, but also I have not been getting any breakouts there. So I know that this is not a problem. You know, it's quite old, but it's, it's not causing me any breakouts. My breakouts at the moment actually have been more along like my jawline. So this is not the culprit, but I would love it to be done today. It's not the day though. Next time, maybe, I don't know. The next one is this brow gel, which is actually a mascara. Yes, I have finished it. This is the CoverGirl Nature Lux Water Resistant Mascara. There is still some product on the brush, but I've just decided it's time to say goodbye to this. I gave it enough time. I'm also not really into the really dark brow look right now. I mean, you can tell that by my current brows. I added a little bit of like reddish orange in there, but yeah, this was not, just not vibing with my look anymore. So time to say goodbye to this one. This is my first empty of this project pan. Very exciting. And it's it's been in here the whole time. Like it's been in this project pan since the beginning of the year, I'm pretty sure. I had hoped that I would be able to repurpose my mascaras in future as brow gels because I have way too many mascaras and a lot of them are pretty old or I just don't like them that much. So I want to find other ways to use them, but I will not be doing that because all of my mascaras are black. I don't have any brown ones. And so they're just going to be too dark for my brows, unfortunately. I also just before this filmed a declutters and empties video, which will be going live next week. And so some of these products, I dive a little bit more into depth if you want to hear, or if I would repurchase these, I will be talking about that in that video. So stay tuned for next week. But the next product that unfortunately is not finished, this is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I have still been using this a lot, probably four or five days every single week. I have been using this and now I use it. I mean, I'm not using it on my collarbones today, but I try to use it on my collarbones where I remember. There's just a lot of product in here. I don't think there's much left. This will definitely be out by the end of the year. However, will it be done before that? I don't know. I'm also planning to cut into it and I bet that there will be a ton of product to use when I do that. So I'm still enjoying it, but uh, I'm not really looking forward to the end times and just like having to finish up every single last drop. I, I know I don't have to do that, but I probably will, let's be honest. So that has not been done for today. The next one, I have good news. This is a body lotion from the Body Shop, the Golden Apple Shimmer Lotion. This is a very like wintry festive kind of scent. And so I was planning to only use this in the winter, but I just wanted to get it out. So I've been using it over the past couple weeks a lot, a lot. I just spread this all over my legs and that was enough to get it finished. I did depot it into another container because this got very, very difficult to use. And when it was in here, it went so fast. Like this was maybe four uses. Both of them now have that like apple-y <laughs> scent, which I'm not the hugest fan of, but I'm just glad that these are out. I'm so happy to have finished this body lotion. So, so far we've got two empties. I actually don't know how many empties I have for this time. I didn't count them up. I think it's four or five, so 
we'll see, we'll see. I'm getting ahead of myself. So far we've got two. The next one is the perfume samples that I have. So for the past two months, I've really just focused on one of these two perfumes and I think I will continue to do that. So I don't know if I should roll one out because I am counting them as two different things. I'll decide when we get there. This is from Shiseido Inui and this is Dot from Marc Jacobs. So you can see the Shiseido one is a lot bigger, but I've used more of it because I have it in the bathroom and I just use this every single day, whether or not I'm wearing makeup, just like sort of as I'm getting ready. And this definitely I have used up since last time. I think I've used this probably five days a week at least. And so there should be some progress. I haven't compared it to my picture from last time, but there's got to be this one, probably no progress. And these are actually going a lot slower than I thought. I remember, like I haven't had a perfume sample in a long time because <laughs> I just find them cumbersome. And when I see something this small or like a sample, I just like my inclination is to use it up as fast as possible. So the perfume samples I had, I thought that I got through them like very, very quickly, like a month or two. And these are taking forever, forever. So I don't know what I did last time. Just like pour it on myself. I'm not gonna do that. I haven't filmed two videos in one day in a long time. And uh, can you tell that's what I'm doing today? A little bit, a little bit more chaotic than usual. Okay, the next one, I'm happy about this. It's not finished, but I'm happy that I have it in my project pan because if I didn't, then I would not use it for sure. This is a lip sample, Lolita from KVD Beauty. Last project pan update, I actually decluttered one of the lip samples that had come in this set. And this one, I challenged myself to use it as a lip product and as a blush. And I have been doing just that and I have been loving it. Kind of surprising because like, look at that shade. It's not that nude. It's not what I tend to go for on my lips or my cheeks. But now that shade is making me try to find this color or this like formula in other ways. I have since fallen in love with cream blush again. I'm loving the nude look on my lips. And sometimes I go for the look that's just like brow gel, a little bit of mascara, put some of this on as cream blush and on my lips and like, that's it. And that makes me feel that like, I'm kind of clean girl look or like the no makeup makeup. I love it. I am obsessed with it. it Despite the fact that I use it all the time, there's still so much product left. This is something that I would consider purchasing the full version of because I love it so much. So that has been a real surprise because the other lip sample, I hated it. <laughs> I hated the color. But yeah, thoroughly enjoying that. Really glad that I threw it into my project pan last time. The next one is actually an eyeshadow that I had completely forgotten was in my project pan. Don't you love it when that happens? And I didn't even know where it was when I was putting all these products together today. I was looking for it in my makeup bag. I was like, where is it? Why can I not see it? And then I realized it was here. Like it was sitting here and I never use the stuff on here. Like the products that I use to do my makeup are in the bathroom. They're in my daily makeup bag. So then I realized it wasn't in my makeup bag. It was here. So you can imagine how much I have been using it. Maybe once or twice since the last update. I'm sorry, this should not have been in my project pan. I had forgotten that it was, to be entirely honest. So nothing to update there. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. eyeshadow in golden. It's nice, it's pretty. It's not really the kind of eyeshadow I go for anymore. It doesn't like mesh easily with the kind of eyeshadow looks that I do. Okay, and those were the ones that had been in from the time before. I had three new roll-ins last update, and I'm happy to say that two out of the three of them are finished. I know. <laughs> now, I had really only rolled these in because I really wanted to motivate myself to use them up. I really wanted to get them out because they were getting kind of old, and also because I had purchased a new foundation and concealer in the Sephora sale and I was anxious to get to those, but I also didn't want to open them before finishing the older ones. Something that, you know, old me definitely would have done pre no buy, definitely, you know, opening new things without finishing off the previous ones I had. So let's start with this. This is the Maybelline Dream BB Pure Skin Modifying Beauty Balm. I thought that this wasn't going to be done in time for this update and I was like, oh, I'm gonna finish it like two days after doing this video. But fortunately or unfortunately, today when I went to use it, I gave it a sniff and 
I could not in good conscience put this on my skin. My skin has been acting up a bit lately. Maybe it's related to this. I'm not really sure. It's possible. It's kind of unlikely because I'm only getting acne in specific regions on my face and you'd think that if this was expired it would be like everywhere not just like along my jawline but better to be safe than sorry so this is what is left most people would consider this done so let's just say it's done i finished this congratulations me really glad to have that done and the other one is a concealer. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. This one, I had done something similar. I had removed the stopper. So you can see I used up every last drop. I really like this concealer. It was pretty like light to medium coverage, maybe a little bit thicker than I would prefer, but I enjoyed it. I might repurchase it. I'm, I'm not sure. I feel like I'm probably gonna give other concealers a try first. I am similarly happy to have this out of my collection. The final product that I had rolled in last time was this Fenty Cream Bronzer, and this one, I'm really excited to see the progress. I think for a while, I was only panning products where you could really see visual progress and that is like the most satisfying kind of progress, obviously. Bronzers, blushes, powders, that kind of thing. But for a while now, I haven't had any of those in my project pan and this one serves that purpose well because I cannot wait to compare the picture from last time to today and see how much progress has been made because I've been using this quite a bit. There's still a lot left. You can see it's at that point where it's like all around the sides that I've got product left. That's generally how it works. Hard to know how much longer I will have this, probably the next update or the update after, just because we're at that point where, I don't know, it's, it's harder to pick a product on the brush. This is great for summer though, because it is a cream product and I am really liking using cream, bronzer, highlight, and blush in the summer. So I reach for this much more than my powder bronzers at the moment. Yeah, I think I am going to feel like something is missing from my collection when I finish this off because this is my only cream bronzer. This was also decluttered to me from Shauna. So thank you so much, Shauna. These, these three things were all from Shauna, but I really enjoy this. And yeah, I'm glad that the project pan is forcing me to use this because it is like kind of relatively new to my collection. I've only had it about a year. So typically I wouldn't try to pan products that I have only had in my collection for a year. I try to do things that are a little bit older. Even though this is not my Graveyard Project Pan, I do have that series. I can link that here. I just try to get older stuff out of my collection first. But this, because it is a cream, I was like, mm, I should prioritize this. So those are all of the previous items that had been in my collection. And let me just gloat a little bit. The products that I have finished, we got a concealer, we've got a foundation, we've got a mascara slash brow gel, and we've got a body lotion. So I actually finished four things. Last time, none. This time, four. I don't know why things work that way sometimes. It seems like you finish everything at once and then you'll have like months without finishing anything. But anyways, really happy to have those out. Does that mean that next time I'm not gonna have any empties? Hopefully not, but I do have a couple of products to roll in, so let's discuss those now. Okay, so because I finished so many products this time, I need to roll in a bunch, because I've got the primer, NYX Liquid Highlight, the two perfume samples, the lip sample, and the Fenty Cream Bronzer, so that is six products, and I wanna get it up to 10. So I'm rolling in four new products, and these have all been things that you're probably well familiar with. So hopefully it won't come as a huge surprise <laughs> that they're in the project fan because I have been working on them quite a bit. So this first one, this is a product I depotted. This is the remainder of the Merit foundation stick. It looks kind of gross, apologies for that, but there was so much product left in there. I couldn't believe. I have used this maybe four times now and there's a lot left. I'm expecting this to take, well, I think this is a good product for summer because it is so like lightweight and creamy, but I wouldn't be surprised if this took all of July and August to get through. I do want to finish it up though because the Merit stuff is more like clean and so it goes bad quickly. I've had this for about a year and a half now, so 
want to be moving it out in the next little while before it starts smelling funky. The next one is also great for summer because of the shade. This is the CoverGirl Clean Pressed Powder in Warm Beige. This is too dark for me. I mean, like it works, but it's, it's, it's too dark. And it's better when I have a tan for obvious reasons. I am wearing this today. I don't think it's obvious to other people, but <laughs> I still know that it is not the right shade. There has been some progress. I can see an indent, but this is my oldest powder. And on top of the fact that it's really best to be used in summer, I think this is the perfect time to be rolling this in. I don't know how long it'll take to get through because I really have not used it that much because of the shade but I do like it, at least if I can get some progress on this. If I could hit pan, that would honestly be amazing. I don't know if I should make that my goal because I don't know how feasible it is, but I'm gonna try to only use this powder. Lately, I have also been using my, yeah, this one, my MAC powder. This one has really made an indent as well. This is the Warm Rose Mineralized Skin Finish. This is obviously a much lighter shade. It does have some sparkles, so I think it's much better for the winter. So I'm just gonna be working on this one for the rest of the season. The next product I am pulling in is also going to be very exciting visually because look at this. I've already hit pan on it as well. Yes, I'm gonna have two bronzers in my project, but I think that that's feasible. I mostly reach for a cream bronzer these days, but there are some occasions where I want a powder and also this is a much darker shade than this one so they're you know serving different purposes. I've got more progress on the cream one obviously because that's what I've been using lately but I want to encourage myself to use the NARS one more as well especially for nights out. This is a nice deep shade. I'm actually wearing this today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this. I probably could by the end of the year by next update. I don't think so, but I love me some visual progress and I have not been tracking the progress on this because I haven't had it in a project pan. I kind of thought that I had, but I haven't added it to one so far. So yeah, this will be a great way to stay accountable and just visually have those pictures that I know you guys love and I love so much. We've got <laughs> a lot of skin stuff. Usually I don't have this much skin stuff. We've got one primer, one foundation, one highlight, one powder, and two bronzers. Did I say one foundation? Yeah. Okay, so the last product that I'm rolling in is an eye product. This is an eyeliner. This is from Wet n Wild. If you can remember, last year I was trying to project pan this and then eventually I gave up because I got tired of it and I felt like I wasn't seeing progress. However, looking at it now, this looks so tiny. Like I definitely have been making progress even while I thought I wasn't reaching for it. I definitely have been. Add that to the fact that I have reason to be reaching for this one now hint, hint, I might have finished another eyeliner. So I am going to try to get some use out of this. You know what, why don't I track it like on this page? Cause it's so baby. I'm just going to mark it from the very bottom of the page. So I just marked it on the page there where we are at, just a little baby pencil. So I will be able to compare next time to see if any progress has been made. Also in the summer, you know, brown liner is nice cause it's a little bit lighter. So I think I will be making some progress on this one, but that is actually it. Those are all 10 of the products that I have in my project pan. I think I probably will be able to be successful at finishing the Merit Foundation and potentially the Fenty Cream Bronzer. I don't know if there's any other ones that I have a chance of finishing for next time. Yeah, I think those are, those are the only two that is possible to happen. So I'm not gonna have as many empties next time, but possibly still some. And hey, I had enough this time to make up for a lot of updates. So that is it for today's Project Pan update. Thank you so much for watching. And now let's talk about a book that I've been reading lately. So this I have been listening to on audiobook. It is called Becoming Eve by Abby Chava Stein. I had this on my TBR for a long time because I had first heard of Abby at a session I went to a couple of years ago. She gave a talk. Actually, I've seen her in person quite a few times because she gives a lot of talks. She has a very interesting trajectory 
the subtitle is My Journey from Becoming Ultra Orthodox Rabbi to Transgender Woman. So I am Jewish, although pretty secular, so I find it really interesting to read about the Hasidic community or the ultra Orthodox Jewish community, and especially journeys of people getting out of that community. It is extremely, extremely enclosed. If you know anything about it, it, these communities are all over the world, but they do not interact with outside communities. So just kind of like any other extremely religious community. But she knew very, very young that she was a girl. She was a woman. And it is the story of getting out. I also wanted to mention that the Hasidic community is kind of unique because it's there's not really like homophobia or transphobia because they don't know what that means. Like to them, gay people, trans people, they don't exist. Like they just, they just don't know it's a thing. And so Abby, when she was growing up and she knew like she was in the wrong body, she thought she was the only one who had ever felt this way because she didn't know it was possible to be trans. That's not to say that her transition is welcomed by her community. In fact, it's the opposite, but it is just a very different situation from the rest of the world. And also there have been a number of TV series which have focused on the ultra-Orthodox community in the past couple of years. There was Unorthodox, which was a TV show based on like a real person's life. And then also My Unorthodox Life, which is about, what is her name? <laughs> Julia Hart, the like fashionista. I don't know. I haven't watched either of these, though I did read the book that Unorthodox is based on. But I don't know. People are just fascinated with like insular religious communities. I'm really enjoying it. She just gives so much insight into her life and it's so fascinating hearing about her sort of struggling with herself and, and her religion. And it's nice because it's it's not too heavy. Like she definitely struggled a lot when she was younger. I'm also reading another book by a trans author. Just coincidentally, they both became available at the same time. And that book is a lot more challenging. It's a lot darker. This one, it's just, she's just a lovely person. And I love hearing about her life. So highly recommend it. It's fairly short. It's about seven or eight hours on audio. And yeah, she's also a great person to follow just like on social medias. So that is it for today's video. As you can tell, I'm in a little bit of a rush today, but I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you all next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.